Hey everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World and in this video I'm going to be making this new Big Sister shirt using a design from our new Kids Vector Pack Volume 2 and using Caesar Glitter Vinyl and Caesar HTV. I have my design open in Silhouette Studio. So this design uses a clip art from our new Kids Pack Volume 2 that's coming out. Uh, so this is one of the mermaids. So this design I will have linked in the description for you. You can purchase this design after the video and we're going to have our special uh, coupon code for YouTube so that'll give you 80% off this design which is super cool. So I have this set right here. Now I'm gonna do a couple adjustments. I'm cutting this whole thing on scrap vinyl. So I laid out my vinyl on my cutting mat. So I'm gonna break apart my design and then put them in sections on my mat so I can cut easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up to have a cutting mat. So this is my 12 by 12 cameo mat. And then I'm going to go ahead, highlight my whole design, right click it and flip horizontally. I'm doing that because I'm cutting on heat transfer vinyl and so I need to mirror my design so it'll cut backwards and then I can flip it over and press it onto my garment. So this top left corner is going to be the white part of my design which is the I'm the. So I'm going to set this up right here and then the bottom corner is going to be big sister and that's where the pink vinyl is. So I'm the big sister the mermaid's going to go in the top right because that's going to be lilac. So we're gonna set it up here. And these two sections are both going to be cut with glitter vinyl. So uh, right now with Silhouette Studio, if you cut by color, which is what we're going to do in the next panel, even though the colors are set to the same material, your automatic blade and the Cameo 3 will reset. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, hold down shift and grab my next section, and I'm going to combine them into one big shape. And we call that a compound pack. So if I right click, make compound path, you'll see they both take on the same color, which is totally fine. I have different colors of vinyl loaded in those sections, but that way it'll be super easy to cut and then I won't have to worry about my blade resetting. So let's go over here to where I send panel and then we're gonna do our uh, action. We're gonna do action by fill, okay? So right here we have our mermaid which is that. It's set to FDC, but I'm gonna switch it over to a preset I have for Easy Weed. And that preset is going to say, uh, it's gonna be right here, and it'll show you at the bottom. So I have it on my blade on three, my speed at 10, and my thickness at six. And so this next section is going to be my glitter. I'm gonna choose this drop down, and I'm gonna do my other glitter preset. So let's go right down here, Glitter HTV. And that I'm cutting with my blade at six, my speed at eight, and my thickness at 16. So you can see I have both of these set to cut. They're gonna go no problem. And then we can go over and set that up to go. So we're just gonna double check. Yep, they're all on cut. Let's go by fill, double check. We have it set like that. And now I'm just gonna turn on my Cameo, load it in, and then I can press cut. Here's my Cameo. The first thing I want to do is I want to move my roller over one notch. That's so I can load my cutting mat. So I just unlocked it, brought it over to here, and set it up there. Now it's not moving. I can bring my roller bar back down. All good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load my cutting mat onto my Cameo. So I'm going to go ahead, find this line, line my mat up with that, and bring this in. So we're gonna press load. And because I have it set to a cutting mat in my workspace, it's all set. And then I went ahead and did my other cut settings just now. So I can just go right here to start. And so it's gonna adjust for one color, go through and then adjust for the other vinyl. And then we'll be all set. So it's cutting my Easy Weed vinyl first. After it completes this mermaid, it's going to go back, reset itself, and then cut my glitter vinyl. My cut is all done. 
I'm gonna go ahead press unload and now I can have all three sections cut. So I'm gonna bring this over to my table and weed it. Here are my three sections. This one is I'm the, this is cut in our rainbow white glitter vinyl by Caesar. This is going to say Big Sister. This was cut on the blush color of Caesar Glitter. And this is my mermaid. She was cut using lilac, and that's part of the easy weed line. So I'm gonna go over here, start weeding out this mermaid, and then I'll be all set with that. Here is my shirt. This is just a plain 2T shirt I ordered online. This is, the brand is Rabbit Skins. And here are my three cuts. So I have my mermaid in lilac, big sister in uh, blush, and then rainbow white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of stack them on top of each other for now, just so I can make sure my placement is correct. So I'm gonna kind of take this, put it over here, and check it out. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the whole design and laying it out so I can make sure that it's set well on the shirt. So now that I have it here, I'm gonna go ahead and take off these extra pieces that aren't gonna go on my first press. Take my cover sheet. And now my heat press is set to 310 degrees. So it's right in between the 315 that I need for glitter and the 305 that I need for Easy Weed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring this down for a couple seconds so that I can get this to stick. Now I don't wanna do my full 15 seconds on my first press because I don't want it to shrink. I just want enough to activate the glue to get it off of the carrier. So let's go ahead and bring it down. Let's lift this up. And it's all good. Now if you lift that up and the vinyl comes up with it a little bit, that's okay, just put it back down and press again. Now I'm ready for my second color. I'm gonna lay it down right here. And now I'm gonna finish the same process. Let's drop it for a couple seconds. And lift this up. So there's my second color. Oops. So now I'm ready for my last color, which is my mermaid. And check it out. I weeded it earlier. I stuck it on top and there's her face there. Don't want that. So make sure you don't have stragglers on your cover sheet or your, your uh, carrier. So now I'm gonna put my mermaid on here. This is Easy Weed and Lilac. I'm just gonna position it like that. And again, just a couple seconds. Let's lift this up. So that is all set. So now I just need to do my final press. This is gonna give me my full dwell time on all my vinyl. So I'm just gonna drop this down for about 10 seconds. We are all done. And now we have our big sister shirt. And so this is using a mermaid from our new Kids Pack Volume 2. So if you wanna get this design, we do have it on the website. You can find the link below and you'll be able to get this design for 80% off. So if you have any other questions, you can email us at info at the rhinestoneworld.com or comment below. If you like this video, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more tutorials using Silhouette Cameo or Silhouette Studio, click here to view those. And if you want more videos and more ideas for the kids' vector pack designs, click here. And make sure you like and comment on our video to let us know what you think.